ears. The dogs can see it too. Not sure if you can see it. It's coming back out, baby. He's coming back out. There's two of them at him. They're fighting. Or playing. Welcome back to the homestead, everybody. We have a full day of work planned. But before we jump into any uh, homestead work, we have to do something that we uh, need to take care of for the kids. They got a, huh? <laughs> the kids actually got a trampoline after Christmas. So this morning, before we start any homestead work, we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna see. You ready? We're gonna see how fast we can build a trampoline. Google says it takes, what, three to four hours? Yeah. Which I don't believe that. So let's see how fast we can put this thing up and uh, get the kids occupied. And they've been excited for this for a day. So anyway, today is our family work day. So we got a bunch of projects planned. We got a few that we're doing today. Number one is we're gonna build a trampoline. Number two is we got some fence repairs. Number three is we're gonna complete the nook. We started that project three Sundays ago, insulating it and putting in new walls. And we're about what, halfway done. Halfway now. That's it. Well, we're gonna yeah, the ceiling. I mean, we get, yeah, we're halfway done. We had the insulation. We, we had the insulation in. We started to put the luon on. Obviously, you saw we got two sheets of luon on. We actually heated the nook throughout the week, and when it got down to like 15 degrees. And it seems to be doing great, and we haven't yet insulated the floor either, so that's encouraging. Anyway, let's, uh, huh? The kids are already out there ready to do it. Merry late Christmas to everybody. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. This is an ember mug that I got my wife for Christmas. Anyway, this is a smart mug that keeps your coffee warm. So I guess there's a little heating element under here. The verdict's still out. I hate cold coffee. I hate lukewarm coffee. My coffee has to be hot. And if it gets even a little bit cold, I turn on the tea kettle and add more hot water. And um, anyways, this is a great present. All right, let's go outside and uh, start this day. I don't cry when it rains no more. Or I get dirt on my shoes. I don't mind climbing a Floors, Cause these stairs are all head in the Alright, well we lost half our time lapse there. We got it all done and when I stopped it was about 10.20, so let's call it one hour. 9.16 to 10.20, we could have done it a little bit faster. Let's get happy there it is. We don't need plans what do y'all think, kiddos? Yes. Well, let's just yes. see where it goes. You like it, buddy? We got no care for the way people stare at the dust and the dirt on the Kansas City never disappoints around Christmas time. It's like we always get this. It was a little bit cold the past couple days, but we always get this lull in the weather right before we head into the depths of cold here in the Midwest. And we get this beautiful day. So yesterday was about 60 degrees. Today it's gonna be about 50 degrees. And, uh, and then next week, first of the year, it's gonna plummet down into the teens supposed to get snow next week and anyway okay, so we decided to uh, set this trampoline up let the kids enjoy a little bit of it before the cold of the winter hits they're out here in 25 degree weather anyway they don't really care I want to show you all the pond over here the pond is frozen cut the aerator off it only took about three four days of real cold weather and it froze over. So I turned the aerator off because you can get this hyper cooling effect is what it's called, where you're transferring all that cold air down to the bottom of the pond, which is normally, you know, a little bit warmer. 
and uh, and then you hyper cool your pond and then it freezes even faster so I went ahead and cut it off we'll get that back on in the, in the uh, spring when it starts to thaw out uh, but I think we're done here with this project we're gonna uh, transfer over to the fence my wife had the idea of tearing down this back end defensing and extending this is actually just our backyard so our backyard kind of ends right here so far as what we uh, you know portion for the kids and us and then our our property line actually ends back there where that gate is over there yeah we used to have a barn back here if you didn't see the demolition video of us tearing down the barn it's awesome i'll leave its link in the description below you can check that video out um, but we tore down that barn last year it's almost going to be we're coming up on a year of that barn being demoed and uh this area has kind of just sat we don't know what we're going to do with it yet we do have future plans depending on how long we're here to build a lean-to or some kind of structure that i'd be able to work in and we'd be able to house some of our equipment and right now the skid steer is in this little temporary shelter anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to extend this fence line out so we're going to tear out this fence today and then we're going to connect from about this post all the way over to our back property fence line over there and that will uh, kind of make sure that the kids don't get into this area over here so that's important uh, but then that'll give us this whole area of the property back that we just don't use um, and then we can plant grass here we can do whatever one thing we want to make sure we're doing is is we sow time and money and all the effort into the animals that we have is making sure that we're not neglecting making a you know playful beautiful place for the kids to run around and have fun and be kids um, so we are going to transform this backyard uh, and that starts today we're going to take these boards because if anybody knows anything about uh, building material prices right now they're ridiculous skyrocketing and so we're going to take these boards and we're going to repurpose them over on our fence line over here and we're going to put them at the bottom of this fence line because our dogs kind of get under there and get out over there on that side of the property so we're going to do that today as well so let's get started gather our tools. on this little project here yeah we'll get our tools i think we lost four of our workers for the next hour that's all right we'll let them play for a little bit and we'll get to hacking away at this fence You see that? Keep looking around. Put up hard. Here, let me help. One, two, three. Keep going. There you go. You got it. You got it? Yeah. Now get the other side. Alright, that fence line is done. That was a uh, total hack job, but, you know, it's only to keep the dogs in the backyard. So, we'll have to figure out a better solution in the future here. But, uh, that part is done. So, we're going to move on to this back fence line over here, and we are going to start tearing that back fence line out. First thing i got to do is I'm going to get that gate off. So I'm going to pull the gate off, and then I'm just going to literally tear this thing out with the clomper chompers.
makes quick work. I was able to lift that gate off. It was rusted down, so I lifted it off with the uh, clomper chompers. And then this was a pretty big post that came out rather easy. And then I don't know if you saw, but this post down here, did you see that Isaiah? Yeah. It was metal. Mm -hmm. so, metal. So this post right here was actually metal. Where was it? Oh, here it is. It just sheared it right off. See it? Oh, wow. Ow, cut myself. Yeah, there it is. So it just sheared the whole piece of metal right down. Yeah. I didn't clomp chomp that side because it's connected to this fence. And I don't want it to fall over and the pigs get out. So I think, Isaiah, what we'll do, we'll take it, the fence off of this side by hand, and then I'll clomp chomp this and we can pull it back. Cool? These, these pliers are awesome. If you don't have a pair of these and you do fencing, you got to pick some up. I'll leave a link of these in the description below. But I use these um, everywhere. Every time I'm doing fencing, I use these guys. They can, you know, snip through real thick wire like this. And they can also turn like wire if you're using um, T-post clips or something like that. You can use them to turn the T-post clip around the T-post. These things are amazing. Fox. Well, Foxy Locks have decided to show up while we were working out here. It's about to cross the street. Babe, let Judge out. Judge will kill that fox. This fox has killed dozens of chickens. The fox has appeared. The dogs can see it too. I'm not sure if you can see it. We're out here working and the fox just came out of the woods. The fox who has killed numerous of our chickens. There he goes. He's coming back out, baby. He's coming back out. There's two of them at him. They're fighting. Or playing. There's two of them. The other one was is down there behind the uh, pig house. Huh? He just went in the woods behind the pig house. That was the last bullet. All right, well, that was crazy. We just had two foxes. Cassie, come on. Good girl. Good girl. So that was crazy. We just had two foxes on the hill. And they were fighting or something. I don't know what they were doing. They were big. I, I think my wife got some shots of them. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I've been waiting for those foxes for a while. Been waiting to shoot them, um, only because I, I don't like to kill um, animals just for sport. I do hunt deer to eat and that type of stuff. Um, but this fox has probably killed, I don't know, probably 25, 30 of our chickens probably more than that so I have resolved to kill this fox anyway so I ran in the house grabbed the 22 took a shot last bullet last bullet in our whole uh, clip which that thing is that thing it's a big clip oh so bummer anyway we didn't get him today and he was sitting they were sitting on the fence line for quite a while it looked like they were <coughs> fighting or doing something with territory or they were playing. I don't think they were playing because they wouldn't have kind of hung around like that. So anyway, that's a bummer. Hopefully we get them next time. I'll be more prepared next time with ammo and everything ready. The reason I'm so adamant now <clears throat> about killing it is because I have the uh, piglets over here. And from what I read, from what I've read, is that foxes don't like to attack piglets because of their scream like their ear piercing scream scares them. Anyway, I don't want to take the chance and uh, I want to make sure that we're looking out for our livestock and we're protecting them. So there's a couple of reasons for you. Uh, so we're going to be um, 
on the ready, on the lookout, waiting for that fox to come back and hopefully we can get a clear shot. That fox keeps on coming back. It's come back like six times already. So we're on high alert over here. Hey, why don't you go get the walkie talkies, bud? And you call us when you see the fox. Tell us when you see it. There's two walkie talkies behind the TV. All right, so my neighbor has some 22 ammo he's gonna grab for me. So we'll wait out here and see if I can pick them off as they come across the street. I think it's only one that's trying to come back. I think they got in like a territorial dispute or something because he's trying to come back. Yeah. They look like they're the same size. It's probably the litter. What are you doing? Are you cold? He's getting cold on you, Daddy. <laughs> so that's good. I got some 22 ammo coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait out. See if I can get this fox. Hi there. Say hi there. <laughs> Say hi there. Hi there. Dado. Dado. Say hi. Oh, my hands are cold. Sorry. All right, we got ammo. Isaiah's waiting over here on the side of the animal yard, and uh, he's gonna—he's got a walkie-talkie. He's gonna let me know if he sees anything. Oh, don't like this situation at all. I feel like my piglets are just sitting ducks right now. Don't know what to think. Well, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Got a long family work day. We got some stuff done. We got our, we got our fence line done over here. We got our fence line pulled right here. So we'll come back with the bucket, spread all this, even it all out, get all the junk out. And then we'll come back and lay our fence line from here over to the fence line here. But that'll be work for another day. We have a lot of stuff we need to take care of on the back part of the property here to get it looking nice and get everything in order. Keep organized. Anyway, pray for our piglets. Pray for no fox attacks. And uh, we will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.